drive. I just got done repairing. This is the Control Techniques MIDI Maestro 140X 14-28. Now, this was a simple fix right here. Had a connector on the board that just overheated, burnt this pin right here, so there was no continuity uh, out to the motor. This connector right here. I've got three phase coming into it from a variac. That comes on on this connector right here. The motor is connected to these two terminals right here. Here's the control. The tack comes in here. Here's our speed reference with this potentiometer and our enable switch. Let's fire this thing up. Let's see what she does. Does our green light come on? Let's enable it. There it is. It's a nice smooth running drive. I've got about 63 volts AC from the Variac into the drive that gives us a 90 volt DC bus. This is a 90 volt DC motor right here. Let's go back the other way. That's nice. At the end of the video, I'll show you these connections. Let me go get the scope, and we'll look at the waveforms that make that motor run. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're going to enable the motor to run. We'll look at the waveforms that are driving into that DC motor. Right now, we're going counterclockwise right here in the middle is ground so we have a positive 90 volts DC up here peak and a negative 90 volts peak down here notice that the faster we go this negative peak down here becomes wider and the positive becomes narrower. See that right there? Now let's go the other way and we'll watch the top side do the same thing. There we're going clockwise. You notice that the 90 volts peak is wider than the negative 90 volts peak. Let's see if we can stop it. There. Now look, the motor is stopped and we have 50% duty cycle right there. The top side and the bottom side are equal. We're just creeping along. I'm using the potentiometer to speed the DC motor up, slow it down, and change directions.
All right. Here we are at the house. I gotta hurry up. The sun's going down and I ain't got dinner cooked yet. What in the world? <laughs> so let's talk about what we need to connect to this drive to make it get up and go. This is the Control Techniques DC Servo Drive type 140X14-28 uh, and I've got the uh, switches, the potentiometers, the tack here uh, to enable this drive to run a servo motor. Now here on pin 6 and 7 we have a plus 10 volts DC and a minus 10 volts DC. That's the DC voltages for your speed potentiometer right here. I've got, oh, I think that's a 5K, maybe a 10K potentiometer. The wings going to pin 7, the minus 10 volts, and pin 6, the plus 10 volts DC. The wiper of the potentiometer comes down in here to pin 9. This is your speed reference input. The other input to the speed reference goes to pin 8, 0 volts DC. You tie pin 10 to pin 8. Essentially grounding one side of that operational amplifier input to ground. Up here is the enable. This is what starts that drive to run the motor. The enable is pulled up to plus 10 volts DC on pin 6 through this switch. When I close that switch right there, I've got 10 volts on the enable input, pin 5. Now here's the TAC generator on the rear of the DC servo motor. And the TAC generator goes to pin 11 and 12. If you ever uh, run this motor, you close that switch, and this motor runs away, I mean goes full bore max speed, you either have to swap the tack generator wires or swap the armature wires, not both, just one or the other. Now let's go down and look at the power connector. This is what you need to make the drive run under servo control right here. Let's go down and look at the power connector. Where does the line connect? Where does the motor connect? Right, give me a minute to move the camera and we'll talk about that connector. Here's the power connector. Here's our DC servo motor right here. Permanent magnet DC servo motor and it connects to pin 17 and 18, motor 1 and motor 2. You see here we have access to the DC bus. DC bus plus on 16 and DC bus ground or, or minus DC on pin 19. I used a Variac to bring the DC bus up to 90 volts DC. Uh, this is a 90 volt DC motor that I was using to test this drive with. So I didn't want to exceed the rating on a DC motor so I applied 63.6 volts AC to 21, 22, and 23. That's L1, L2, and L3. I used a Variac and I gradually brought that AC voltage up to 63.6 volts AC while looking at pin 16 and 17 until I had 90 volts DC. That's nice to have that come out like that uh, on, on 16 and 19, the DC bus. Because I could put my meter right here while adjusting that Variac until I had that uh, AC voltage to give me that 90 volts DC. Here's frame ground. That's earth, frame ground. And down here on 24, I didn't hook one up, but this is an external 
dynamic braking resistor connect input right here where you connect a, an external uh, dynamic braking resistor. I didn't hook one up. I wasn't going to jerk this motor around hard enough to, to uh, cause that regenerative braking circuit to fire. There you go. That's it. That's all we needed to hook up to this DC servo drive to test it. It's always nice when you can test uh, stuff that that you repair before you send it out the shop. There you go. Let's get to cooking us some supper. <laughs> all right. Folks, thank you very much for stopping by. I always appreciate when you come over and, and we learn something new. We'll see you next time.